Folks out here, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the Industrial Park. I'm going to maiden my new E-Flight clipped uh, Cub. Um, just uh, got it today, got or actually last night, and I put it together um, this afternoon. And uh, see, left, right, left, up, down, right, left. Okay, and uh, got her all together gonna take her for a maiden uh they saw the other one i had so many problems with landing gear and so many different product plane had been crashed the wings had been broken i had so many things i decided well i'll use the other one as a float plane or or as a or as a parts plane I'm not gonna horse her around or she seems to be pretty well trimmed and level right out of the box. Seem to have a little bit of a vibration. It couldn't have been the prop. I mean I've never known E flight props to ever be out of balance. But not bad. Now, like I say that's that was the maiden. So let's uh and just so you know I went in and mechanically adjusted the elevator and the rudder for maximum deflection. Did not do that with the ailerons. They have plenty of good roll rate as it is. Let's see what we got going here. I'm going to just see if I can. No, it's fine. Just it settling in, being new. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, obviously I don't have safe installed. Okay, well, okay, I lied. I do have safe in the radio, but I have it turned off. I have the safe selects programmed, but only the uh, it's only the uh, A3X that's going right now. Because you saw me do a loop just now, and when you saw me do a roll, can't go upside down if you got safe. Not bad. Actually, this thing lands better on pavement than the timber. <laughs> Probably because of the those big bouncy timber tires. See, can't do that if you got safe on. And just so you know, I have the uh, Admiral 2600. Uh, 2600 three cylinder. Seems to be a little something going on at that RPM, though. Oh, yeah. And yeah, like most tail draggers, they're a little squirrely on the... Now, of course, I do have the benefit of that west wind, which is coming um, to my right right now, because I'm st I'm headed, I'm facing to the south right now. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, they say she's a hot rod in disguise. Kind of believe that. Oh yeah, pavement landings are easier with this thing. I'm still kind of coming in kind of hard though. Let's go against the wind now. All right, birds. Sorry, I had to look. When, I, when you watch my videos and I do that and I jerk down suddenly, that's just me looking at my timer. That's all that is, or what throttle I'm in. Yeah, boy, I tell you, that's something else right there. Yeah, I got enough juice to do one more. Cause you know me, it's always one more. Do some weed whacking there. Hold on, let's take her around for one more here. Yeah, there's my timer. <laughs> yeah you don't want to hit yourself well anyways that's the e-flight um motors off see no throttle uh clip uh wing cub no damage at all to the very weak landing gear looks good i think this is how this plane's gonna have to be flown out here on the pavement or off the road or very very short grass because when you hit these things, they get really bounced at this, these plastic brakes. Now, I believe that there is actually wire that runs through there, but uh, without breaking apart, I can't tell. Yeah, there is, there is. So even if the plastic breaks, you still got the wire. So, uh, which, you know, you could probably manufacture something. So anyways, that's Fat Guy Flies RC. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.